What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about setting the user's time zone in your Rails app and we're gonna be using a library on the front end in JavaScript to look at the browser and determine the time zone and actually then submit that over to Rails so that we can save that on the user. And then if you're building something like a calendar or anything complicated that needs to work with the user's time zones, then you can have access to that for your background jobs, your views, whatever it might be that you need to interact with the time zones regularly. Now normally I would recommend you just use the local time gem where you print out your timestamps in the browser and it will use the same sort of JavaScript function to actually change that time to the local user's browser time zone. And that is good enough in most cases, but sometimes you might need to do something server side with the time zones, like maybe you wanna send out emails to everyone at 9 a.m. their local time. Well, in that case, you couldn't use just a browser thing like local time, you actually need to record the time zone server side. So that's the kind of thing we're gonna be talking about in this episode.